All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it, just a few minutes away. Absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, they'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We'll see how it goes for him tonight, Bates. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall. Weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, seven inches tall. Weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? So, all right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Hands up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Please head kick attempt. That one is blocked. Right hand upstairs. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Just missed on the front kick there. Able to 
check the high kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, nice! Nice! Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, good kicks there. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. And they separate. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent's... His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. You the Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, that right hand is on point. Big kick land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. There's no tell to that leg kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another. Beautiful takedown. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, straight punch lands flush on the counter. Nice deception with his footwork. And again, your broken record when it comes to the reach advantage. Certainly helped him out there. Second round, straight ahead. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his leg. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing
that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, spinning back fists. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. And then he lands a nice elbow. Real quick leg kick. Nice one, two there. Side kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice head kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. And both guys really throwing with authority. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. All right, he engages in a single column tie here. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Lee gets hit with a kick. Blocks that kick to the body. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. on that offering. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Right hand upstairs. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come down. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. with that jab attempt there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh, straight right. Lee's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And he landed the right hand there. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Able to check that kick as well. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. They continue to exchange. Right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. this championship fight.
Good punch land. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent can react. He's got the turtle in that kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Unable to connect with the right hand. Now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Big body kick. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful body kick. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Three minutes remain in the round. Big kick lands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Lee gets back up. No surprise there. really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. There's the kick. It's blocked. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big and kick. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. Back in the twist position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Straight punch lands. Both right fighters exchange in the pocket here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice! is with the jet. 15 seconds to go. And they set. Big head kick land. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. 
All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so here we go. You can feel right. the tension. Fourth Three. round is underway. Let's we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. High kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Back and forth we go. Trying to hammer that lead leg. I mean, he cuts it down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, man, head kick land. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, huge kick. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Beautiful head kick. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Beautiful kick. He is throwing a fast, great car jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Give me some more. Checks that leg kick. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big head kick land. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice jab. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Back and forth we go here. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Pretty good right hand. Leg kick thrown. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, 
he slips there and then counters beautifully. His coaches are certainly gonna like that. They've been begging him to take advantage of his reach edge, and he certainly did there. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Nice punch, man. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Not a straight left. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. What a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big head kick lands. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful hand skills here, the right then the left. Nice body kick right under the elbow. That's a big strike right there. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Gonna land the right just out of range. What a tricky head kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Slips. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Liver kick. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Leg kick. Big kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Beautiful body kick. Look for your double leg. Look for your double leg. Shoot. Under three minutes now to go round five. Real nice body kick land. Just missed with the leg kick. Big kick land. Oh, super man. Punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh. Going orthodox now. Lee's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. And they separate. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big kick. Under two minutes to go on the fight. Big head kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. What a body kick. Oh, nice right hand. Right hand, then a left. Oh, that's the, the score. How's his opponent 
still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Nice head kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch Oh, knee. nice kick to the head. Oh, collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Real sneaky body kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And he caught the kick. Oh, yeah, right here. Try to establish that jab. Strong straight left there. Oh! That one was going to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, for my money, this is the deepest, toughest UFC division, and the road to lightweight glory still goes through that man's backyard. Congratulations to the champion once again. And he's got a massive fence around that backyard, huh. not letting anybody...